Walk one people, welcome back to this channel. So in this video, I'm sharing with you how to prepare Jamaican green plantain porridge. And this is the traditional method. If you want Jamaican authentic traditional food, you come to the right channel. So in this pot, I have quarter cup of water. To the water, I am going to add a few cinnamon leaves. If you do not have any cinnamon leaves, you can use one cinnamon stick however the the result will be a bit different because cinnamon leaves are much better to use than the stick even though the sticks are made from the bark of the cinnamon tree the leaves are much better to use so i'm gonna boil the leaves into the water for five minutes so that the flavor from the leaves can infuse into the water to give the porridge that Jamaican authentic taste. So I am using two fingers of green plantain and this porridge is for four people. Now I wash the plantain fingers, yes, because I purchased them in the market. You know they are on the ground in the market, so you got to wash them man. Yes, so I am removing the skin and then I am going to cut it, cut each into chunks just to help with the blender's blade. Back in the olden days, I'm, I'm talking about my grandmothers slash great-grandmothers slash great-great-grandmothers, so on and so on days. Yes, they use a grater. So I'm not going to use a grater in this recipe because, listen, I don't like using a grater. Anyhow, I will be using a grater in another recipe that calls for it. But for now, I am going to use a blender, right? So I put the plantain chunks. First of all, in Jamaica, we don't say plantain. We say plantain. That is Jamaican patwa. Either plantain or plantain. Any of the two, but not plantain, which is the correct um, way of pronouncing it. Anyhow, I put the plantain chunks into a blender and I add just enough water to cover the chunks and then I blend until it is well smooth. Now listen, I don't like using wooden spoon because to me, I cannot taste anything when I am doing my taste test. So I use a wooden spoon in the first part of this video, but I stop using it and revert to using the spoon that I love using. Pour the plantain mixture into the cinnamon infused water and stir vigorously. At this point, the porridge will become thick or thick up, as we say in Jamaica. It's like it's binding, you know, like a binding agent because of the plantain, right? And it seems as if it wants to become lumpy. Yes so don't worry don't fret make sure that the heat is on low and add the coconut milk at this point remember i am preparing jamaican traditional plantain porridge this is how it is done right so add the coconut milk and stir with all your might and this will loosen up the porridge a bit yes just keep on stirring don't stop stirring until the porridge is smoothed out. Keep the heat on low so that the porridge do not burn. Yes, and just stir. It will smooth out. So let's out. have just a look at it. Mm. 
So I'm using this spoon because board spoon cannot compare to using this. I don't like to use board spoon. I love this. So the plantain porridge has been cooking for the last 10 minutes. It needs to cook some more. And this, this um, texture is okay. Hope you can see it, right? Let me put it in here. Look. This texture is okay. Okay for me. If you want your porridge to be a little bit thicker, then that's okay. But I don't I want mine to be not thick and not too runny. Just right in the middle, like this. So this is okay. Just gonna let it cook some more. It is almost cooked because the um, the texture is well smooth. And I am going to add a little bit of salt to it, right? This is about another one eighth teaspoon. This amount. And you can see the natural color of the plantain. See that this is this is what it looks like. Right? So this is the traditional method of cooking green plantain porridge in Jamaica gonna cover it okay so I am gonna put this into the porridge you probably won't be able to get this so you can use maybe a quarter cup of um, evaporated milk and this adds creaminess to the porridge this is the traditional way of putting this thing in our porridges in Jamaica. So this is what it looks like. So I am gonna just pour just a little bit of water and then mix it to a smooth paste. So at this point, I turn off the heat, right? The porridge is cooked and I am adding my Lasca milk powder. That's what we call it, milk powder. Now, some people put oats into their plantain porridge because the oats helps to thicken the porridge because some people no matter how them try, they cannot make the porridge with a thick texture. So they use oats to help thick meat, but I don't have to use oats. I can let the porridge become thick naturally without using anything. Some people use flour. I don't use those things in my porridge. So I'm going to sweeten the porridge with sweetened condensed milk. Some people put sugar as well. I, I don't put sugar in my porridge. Around quarter teaspoon of vanilla flavoring and quarter teaspoon of 
freshly grated nutmeg. This is the vanilla flavoring. That is enough. This is the freshly grated nutmeg. This is not advisable. Grater the nutmeg into a container and then you put it in here. <laughs> but I am just being short on right now. I am hungry. That's enough. I'm gonna give it just one last stir. Removing the cinnamon leaves. So I'm gonna have this with with um with fried dumplings. man nice you can taste the coconut milk the coconut milk stand up in the porridge like when my granny used to boil it when porridge are granny porridge no man so grandmothers boiling porridge with coconut milk 